but there is an energy of feeling confident in yourself, feeling connected to yourself, feeling connected to your dreams, having the vision, having the drive, having the energy, the wherewithal, the gumption to just go for it. The transformation is successful or has been successful. There has been a big transformation. There has been a big tower moment. There, is a big, there has been a big shift in your energy in your drive, in your gumption, in your vision, in your belief about yourself. <laughs> Sneezing on the truth. I like that. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your moment, for your day, for your week, for your year, whatever. <laughs> yes, please keep in mind that this is a general, ooh, 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 ooh. careful now. I am ruining this blanket. Anyway, uh, this is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. Also, this is a timeless reading, okay? There are no dates associated with this reading. So this literally could resonate for you at any time. I am a bit sluggish today and I want to say, I want to say that I really don't, honestly, I don't know what I want to say. I can't tell if it was because of happy hour last night, which doesn't necessarily make that much sense because it's not like I went to bed late. I was in bed by like quarter to 10, fell asleep fairly quickly. But what I think it was, is the cats. Mm -hmm. I mean, Orion has always had this thing where ever since he was very, very little, I mean, he's only about a year old now, but ever since he's been very, he was very little, he would like at three in the morning, like clockwork, he would want to go outside, right? Well, he hasn't been really doing that lately. I woke up at like three anyway, because I really had to be. And so I did that and I went back and I laid back down and just as I was about to get back to sleep, here he goes, I want to go outside. Okay, all right, fine, I'll let you out. So I let him out, right? And then I lay back down. And then shortly after that, while I'm already asleep, here comes Jinx. I want to go outside too. Oh. Oh. Can you guys just let me sleep? <laughs> so... And they always do it like right when I get to sleep, like I, I'm laying there, right? But it's not until I start to actually begin to fall asleep. That's when I'm like, hey, let me out. Are you serious, guys? So anyway, I can't tell if I'm feeling a little drained from happy hour last night, which I don't think is the case, or if it's just the cats are pain in my rusty dusty, but I love them even still. So I'm a little sluggish today. I'm a little slow today. Um, but we're here, we're getting through it. So yesterday, last night, we did do happy hour, um, and I did do a, um, a collective reading, and it turned out to be for the new moon that we had yesterday. Um, and it's so interesting, you guys, because I knew, I mean, I know, I, I had heard that a new moon was coming, um, but I didn't really pay too much attention to it. I've been dealing with my own stuff, right? But I noticed yesterday after having realized that it was the new moon and doing the reading for the collective, which is still available, a uh, link is in the top right of your screen, also in the description box and the pinned comment below. Um, but it wasn't until I had done all that and then I was watching some readings for, from, I started watching uh, Quietest Revolution lately. This is a total sidebar, but like I've known about her for years. Like I've seen her pop up everywhere or what every once in a while, whatnot, whatever. Um, but I never really watched her, but I started watching her recently. I actually, I got, it, I, it started with her monthly video for October, right? Quietest Revolution. She's dope, dude. First of all, she's fucking gorgeous. Second of all, I mean, I just love her. I love listening to her. I love watching her. She's so soothing and she's so like on it and just like matter of fact and loving and just like, and, and so easy to stare at, right? Like girl is fine. Okay. So anyway, I was watching her and I was watching some of her stuff and 
you know, watching some of the placements that resonate for me. And she was just like spot on, especially about what would happen around the new moon on the day of the new moon. And as I was listening to her go through that and I was thinking about it and I was like, holy shit, I had, I didn't even know consciously what it was, what was going on. I was just in sync, flowing with the energy. And to be honest, I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you. I really enjoyed that aspect more than channeling the energies, doing the research, doing the readings, pulling cards for people and telling people what it's going to be beforehand. I enjoyed and I really appreciated, maybe even just in this moment, but I really appreciated the fact that I was in sync anyway. And then it was confirmed by me watching stuff. So that was great yesterday. So, so I really, I don't, I really just, uh, maybe it's just this moment, but I really did appreciate the fact that I was in sync like that. Like I didn't need to know what was going to happen beforehand. I just needed to stay in sync, in tune with myself. And shout out to all the astrologers and all the readers out there that do these predictive things. I'm not bashing nobody here. I'm just saying I'm really proud of myself for being so well in sync. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm I obviously I'm getting it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the work. I'm connecting with myself. I'm vibing with it. Like it was such confirmation. It was dope. Also, one last thing I want to mention: if you can, really, really, like if you really can get a hold of your progressed chart. If anybody wants their progressed chart, I can pull it up from the, for you. Um, I mainly, when I look at my chart, honestly, I work from sidereal astrology. Still. Mainstream astrology is still good. I have access to that if you want that. But if you, you guys, I highly recommend that you get into a position where you can follow your progressed chart. Because I've noticed that, you know, like we've talked about this before, but, and I'm not really trying to step into any sort of astrologer role. Not, I mean, that's not the case here. I do like to dabble with it here and there, as you guys know. But also, as we've discussed, in mainstream astrology, I was born a Taurus sun. In sidereal astrology, I was born an Aries sun. And for the longest time, I beat the drum of I'm an Aries and a double Leo, right? But now that I've been looking at my progressed chart for things and reading from that place, it's like, or watching readings from that place, first of all, especially my moon sign, I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a second, game changer, right? But then I also see why certain people look at me and say, gosh, you know, I just feel so much Taurus energy from you. And I'm like, that's interesting because I was born in Aries. But in my progressed chart, my son is absolutely in Taurus right now. And this is all from sidereal astrology, okay? But my son is in Taurus right now. So I'd still, I, and that's why I still resonate with Taurus readings. And my rising is in Virgo. Just like my, just like my, uh tropical birth chart, natal chart. It's very interesting, you guys. And so then I've been looking for like other people, like I have a friend here who I've been, you know, talking about this stuff with, and he's going through some things and he's coming to me being like, hey, can you get me some clarity, blah, 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 like what's going on here? And I'm like, yeah, okay, well, your birthday is this day. So technically you're a Sagittarius, or at least in Western astrology, you're a Sagittarius, but actually you were born a Scorpio. But then when I look at your progress chart, holy shit, your son is in Sagittarius right now. You guys, you guys, it's crazy. So like if anybody would like to, you know, uh, would like me to draw up their chart for you, like just to get like, draw your chart up for like a nominal fee or whatnot, hit me up, let me know. And I'll, I can get you your progressed chart. I'm not looking to really be, I'm not really looking to interpret it. If you would like me to interpret it, please understand that I'm not a, I'm not a licensed astrologer and I'm not a practiced astrologer like some of the other very skilled people are out here. But if you're interested in getting the chart, if you want a little bit of an interpretation, I can do my best. We can we can work that out. Send me an email. All the information uh, is in my description box below, okay? So that's interesting. That was my night last night. So um, like I said, I'm a little sluggish today, but actually, now that I've talked through that, and I'm on, my, I'm on my second cup of coffee. 
we can actually get started. I feel good. So story time is over. Let's get into this here. I want to continue. I, I think I just want to finish out the week. Um, I, I mean, I'm not necessarily guaranteeing that I'm going to do morning coffee tomorrow, but it feels likely. But I definitely want to finish out the week with the before and after tarot. Yeah? Excellent. Let's get into this, you guys, and see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, kids. Let's do this, yeah? Let's see what we've got for today. Five shuffles here. One. This is two. This is three. Four. And this is five. All right, y'all. So, what do we have for the collective today? What do we want to discuss with the collective today, please, Spirit? Oh. Confidence on fleek, yo. Confidence on fleek. Overall energy is the Page of Cups. I really feel like there is a brand new, refreshed energy within the collective right now. And I definitely feel like it has everything to do with the new moon, okay? That we just had last night. Um, first two cards that have come out here are the Star and the King of Wands. And this is where I'm getting that confidence on fleek type shit, right? So like you're, I feel like the collective right now, whether you're here or you're destined to be here is what I just heard, but there is an energy of feeling confident in yourself, feeling connected to yourself, feeling connected to your dreams, having the vision, having the drive, having the energy, the wherewithal, the gumption to just go for it. I mean, you might be going through fluctuations in energy levels like I am. That's normal. Don't let that get you down, okay? If you find yourself in a moment where you're really motivated and like you really want to move, but you're feeling sluggish, you're feeling tired, you feel, you feel like you kind of want to hold back and just rest a little bit, please allow yourself to do that. But that doesn't mean that you can't still dream. That doesn't mean that you can't still plan if you have the capacity to do so. Like, and, and, and I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, yeah, Rory, you should be doing the work. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying it feels like the drive is there. So even if you're feeling a little sluggish at any given moment, don't worry about it. Allow yourself to rest, okay? But it seems that the transformation is successful or has been successful. With this King of Wands and the Star, you have Death with the Tower and the Seven of Wands, okay? So what this is saying to me is that there has been a big transformation. There has been a big Tower moment. There, is a big, there has been a big shift in your energy in your drive, in your gumption, in your vision, in your belief about yourself. <laughs> Sneezing on the truth. I like that. But uh, there's been a big change in your confidence level. And if you're not necessarily feeling this right now at the moment of watching this video when it, right when it was uh, released, don't worry because I feel like this is coming. I feel like this is where we're heading. And I feel like there's a lot of, do you see how on the seven of wands here, this individual is bowing down in prayer. I feel like this is us having found our high ground, having found our defensive position, right? And being very grateful for having gotten there, 
for whatever it took to get us there. We're grateful for it because, and this is why the transformation, okay, the tower and death, this is why the transformation it has been successful because we see the wisdom through all of this or at least we have the ability to really begin to perceive of the vision from a better point of view or from a deeper point of view this is such a beautiful energy i really love this right now especially with what else we've been talking about over this week like i got up this morning and i wasn't sure i was going to do morning coffee but i kind of said to myself i was like I, we do home running coffee. I really hope we're not talking about that stupid ass black magic bullshit. Like, I'm not trying to say that it's not real, but I am saying, I don't wanna talk about that shit no more, all right? You don't get to live rent free in my head. You don't get to come up in here and hijack my channel. Now we're talking all about your stank ass. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna talk about that shit no more. I wanna leave that behind. I don't wanna, ha I, it doesn't have any effect on me any longer. Those of us, don't see, and even still, I'm still talking about it, but that's fine. Um, see, the, the thing about it is, and, and that's where a lot of this energy is coming from. So if you've been dealing with something like that, if you've been dealing with a situation in which it feels like, or it seems as if, or your intuition has been piping up and saying, hello, someone's taking advantage of you, someone's trying to sabotage you, pay attention to me. Part of this lesson, part of this change, part of this transformation is you recognizing it and pulling your power back. And that is what has made this transformation successful. Okay. Spirit is saying that's it. Let's move to transformation. Uh, transformation. Uh, clarification. You got it, Spirit. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to get this in five shuffles here. One. Two. This is definitely an energy of this. This is three. And it's so crazy because this is exactly what I went through yesterday during the new moon. Part of what happened yesterday was me becoming consciously aware that I needed to pull my power back. This is four. And I did that. I declared it. I'm still declaring it. This is five. Um, and so I feel like that was a major theme for this past, this last new moon. All right, look, at the bottom of the, our clarifying deck so far, and I haven't even decided what I want to pull on, it's the Knight of Wands. All right, so if you're resonating with this right now, whether you're in this energy at the current moment or not, there is definitely an, an, an energy of being activated, feeling confident, feeling powerful, feeling willful, and wanting to move forward. Activated, strong, inspired in all those, in all those ways, yes? So let's start with the King of Wands. I'd like to see what the King of Wands is for the collective here. What's this King of Wands, please, Spirit? What does the King of Wands have to say? What does the King of Wands represent for the collective right now? That's enough. Okay. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. So this is a celebration, uh, but this is a celebration of you because what you have here is the Two of Wands. Now, this is the after tarot, okay? So the Two of Wands in this deck is very similar to the Two of Cups, actually, in the sense that two individuals are coming together for a partnership. With wands, it's a little bit different. It's not necessarily love or romance. I mean, it can be, but it has more of a creative aspect to it. This card is described as a masculine individual and a feminine individual, both who are very successful, probably business people or individuals that have their own empires that are now coming together to combine those empires and to move forward together as a team, as a collective. This absolutely could represent a situation in which you have like two individuals that are ma getting married or deciding to share their lives together, whatnot, whatever. But this could also be reflective of like what the Two of Cups represents. For me as a reader personally, sometimes the Two of Cups can represent the bond between the masculine and the feminine energies within you. And that's what I feel like here, you guys. 
But instead of just being all lovey-dovey, let's have a better relationship with ourselves, now it's like all lovey-dovey, we have a better relationship with ourselves. And now we're going to move forward with our mission, with the plan, with our creative endeavors, with our inspiration, whatnot, whatever. Excellent. Okay. And that's why at the bottom of the deck, you have this three of cups because this three of cups is the celebration. This is the celebration of like, we'll say your, your body, mind, and your spirit, right? Uh, uh, masculine, feminine, and inner child. Okay. The situation is coming together. And because of that, you have a new start. The fool, the lovers, the seven of wands, judgment. Okay, this is definitely a new start. This is a choice that has been made. This is the bond. This is the union within yourself that is allowing you to take a leap of faith, that is allowing you to keep your defenses up, and that's allowing you to answer the call. I love it. You have two more cards here for the collective that are clarifying the King of Wands. Fallen face down. They are energies that are kind of underneath the surface. This is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. You have the Ace of Pentacles with the star again. And remember, the star came out with the King of Wands initially. Those were the first two cards that I saw that come out came out in this reading. Confidence on fleek, okay? But it's because of this drive. And the drive comes from the balanced energies within you, okay? That give you that forward-moving momentum or that future forward focus. This is a seed that you can plant. This is an opportunity that you are taking to move closer, further towards your dreams. Okay? There's something new you want to create. There's a new seed you want to plant. In some agricultural situations, um, depending on what it is you're planting, there are some seeds that absolutely are planted during the fall. I've said this before, all right? Even though this is a harvest season. But I do feel like the harvest here... The harvest here for many of us actually is regaining our power and regaining our power because we are in greater alignment with the truth of ourselves. And from and, and it's so crazy. It's like you've taken some plants and you breeded them and now those plants have provided you with a seed. So you have your masculine plant and you have your feminine plant. I've been doing a lot of research into breeding plants and into breeding plants. I've been doing a lot of research into botany and stuff. It's so cool. It's so freaking cool, right? But this is literally that moment. This is just like taking your male plant and your female plant, okay? Depending on what it is you're trying to breed. Take your male plant and your female plant. You harvest the, the, the pollen from the male plant and you fertilize the female plant. And together they create a seed that you can plant for your future. I mean, does it get any better than that? Actually, it does. Once you plant that seed and now the plant grows and now it's providing you with the fruits of your labor, it's even better. But you got to start somewhere, right? Word. Okay. Cute. Let's move forward here. I want to talk about the tower now. Yeah, what's the tower for the collective here, please, spirit? <coughs> Excuse me. What's the tower for the collective, please, spirit? Take this one, yes please. Woo, all right. That's great, that's great. That is excellent, kids. That is fucking excellent. Overall energy is the five of pentacles. But this is what you're coming out of, okay? Clarifying the tower, you've got the 10 of swords with justice, all right? So regardless as to how things have worked out, I feel like things have worked out for the best or things are going to work out for the best. In any case, things are going to work out or things are or have been working out in a balanced and justified manner, regardless as to what your ego may say about it. Ultimately, from a universal point of view, things have been working out or things are going to work out in a balanced and justified manner. Even if you don't see the repercussions that someone is about to get, the karma someone's about to get, that's not necessary, okay? That's none of your business, all right? Focus on you. Focus on your justice, right? That's what we're focused on here. So the tower represents energies or situations in which things were not justified and you needed to stand your ground and take your power back. Thus, 
we have the ending of it, Ten of Swords with Justice. Things are becoming balanced, things are becoming integrated, things are becoming whole again, and you're moving out of this Five of Pentacles, this lack mentality energy, because also part of that tower energy was you taking your power back, yes, and working on yourself. From the Five of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles, to the Nine of Wands, persevering to now the Four of Wands and Ten of Cups. This is the union within you. This is your ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment. All of that is coming through for you because you have done the work to get yourself out of some sort of lack mentality and to pull your power back. Last thing I want to look at here is death. Yes? So what's death for the collective at the moment, please, here? What's death? Enough right there. All right. Overall energy is the Three of Cups again. Celebration. You should be proud of yourself. Let me say that again. You should be proud of yourself. Listen, bitch. You should be proud of yourself, okay? The sun with the Five of Wands. Conflict resolved. Maybe there still may be some discrepancies within you, but overall it feels like a vast majority of the conflicts we've been dealing with within ourselves have been resolved. The transformation has happened because we saw the light. We shined light, five by five on the counter. We saw the light. The light illuminated the conflict in ourselves that was keeping us in this position to allow other people to sap our energy in some cases or whatever this has been for you. Regardless as to what it's actually turned out to be in your personal experience, the illumination has come through in terms of where your discrepancies lied within that kept you in alignment with certain toxic negative situations or entities. That seems to be a, that seems to have been resolved now. Or maybe the resolution is underway, regardless as to where you find yourself physically or technically in your own path and journey. The illumination is coming through on how you have may have been fighting yourself, maybe even how you've been sabotaging yourself even though that's more of a five of swords energy than the five of wands, but it's still applicable, right? And that's what's causing this transformation to successfully be underway or to have successfully happened. Confidence on fleek. You took your power back. You're taking your power back. King of wands. Beautiful. I love this for you guys. I love this for us. Okay, closing oracle guidance. That's backwards. Liquid crystal oracle. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, guys. All right. Five shuffles here. One. I'm so careful with this deck. Like, I don't shuffle them the traditional way I normally shuffle my cards because I do not want these to bend. This is two. Like, this deck, thank you so much for sending it to us, Carolyn, because this deck has become my favorite deck of all right now. This is three. This is four. All right, closing oracle guidance, please, spirit, for today's, all of this, uh, hold on, no, one card, please, spirit, closing oracle guidance, please, they are bound and determined to give me multiple cards, No, I'm asking for one, spirit, spirit, I'm asking for one card, please. One card to close out this message, to close out this reading, please. One card. God bless. All right, fine. 
they still gave me two. But, all right, well, this makes a lot more sense. We have Karaite or Sharaite individualization, and we have lepid, Lepidolite, Lepidolite, conscious feeling. All right, we're going to read both. I think it's pronounced Karaite, right? Char, Char, I don't know, whatever. I'm going to say Kara White. Oh, here. Yes, okay, here we go. Ooh, this is a long one. All right. Let the spirits of your past live in you and deliver your future through self-love, realized personal power, and the dedication of divine wisdom. wisdom. You step now upon the path home. If Karawite has come to you today, it signals a rebirth of sorts. It is time to become the individual that you are and release yourself on the world. The first steps in doing this are always the releasing of attachments and cutting away of outside influences as they keep us where oh, no, they keep us as we are and make change difficult. The loving vibration of Karawite makes sure that you are reborn your that, I'm sorry, make sure that when you are reborn, your spiritual, personal, and individual gifts are embraced. For with them realized, integrity to higher purpose is assured and you will shine. At this important time, you should expect to be challenged by the world and the people around you. They all perceive you a certain way, and most are resistant to change due to its unpredictable and often painful nature. Take care not to be swayed into their perceived idea of you and hold truth and, and I'm sorry, hold tight the true self as it is rebirthed in all its glory. The new you will carry many new opportunities as the spirit that you are makes its mark in the world, on the world, excuse me. Trust in a sign or call to action. This is the most potent one available. Carol White only arrives when divine purpose is about to be addressed and sent into physicality. The master deva of this stone offer, often delivers messages in music. Listen to some with an open heart. No, uh, who knows where you may go? Carol White is a sacred, sacred crystal of the Egyptian go goddess Maat and the ascended master Paul the Venetian. It is a whale contact stone and has worked with to communicate with them in Atlantean times, or was worked with to communicate with them in Atlantean times. Karawite can di directly interpret their songs of light. Beautiful. And last is Lapidolite. I, I just want to say, I love, I love these colors. Two of my absolute favorite colors, purple and pink. But the shade of pink here, it's got some gray in it. Listen. And it's got a little bit of like plum in there. Listen, gray is bland, but when you put it with the right things, man, it fucking pops. <laughs> okay, anyway, Lepidolite. So, oh. remember your alphabet, Eric. <laughs> okay, here we go. If Lepidolite has come to you today, you are being asked to follow your heart. At this time in your life, feelings are being united with your thoughts. If you stay true to your feelings, everything will follow its true path, allowing the manifestation of your goals. Lepidolite often appears when choice, confusion, or depression has led to a lack of action in your life. She is a gentle, loving motivation towards that which we come to earth to achieve but have temporarily forgotten or lost track of. Search your heart in a logical way and the real answers are there. They always have been. This is a powerful contact stone for female ascended beings and the archangelic hierarchy. Uh, one of those uh, female or feminine ascended masters or higher beings is, that is coming through, and maybe this is just my own personal proclivity, um, but it's, um, gosh, wow, Eric, 
wow, you really forgotten her name like that? Good Lord, what is wrong with you? Uh, are you kidding? I see her. She, she's staring me right in the face. Why can't, why isn't her name coming? Lakshmi. Good Lord. Forgive me. Like, really? That was my own personal thing then. Like, I was looking her right. She's laughing at me now. She's like, why are you so silly? It's just the name. You know who I am. I know, but I was trying to like, don't worry about it, Eric. It's not a big deal. Okay, fine. I'm still a little embarrassed. You shouldn't be. Okay, fine. <laughs> but Lakshmi, yes, she's here with us. Always has been, always will be. Okay, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Fantastic. Bye. <laughs>